Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a very little mustard block with just a bag of flour. Yeah. We'll take a bag of flour and try and trap something, no dogs, no rifle. Yep. Yeah. And see how we go. Cool. Yeah, okay. Just here and I, I'm just going to use snares, eh? Right, I think I've got all the gear sorted. Now this camp is not far from our home. It's a very minimalistic camp. I'll go through what we're taking with us. In the way of food, bugger all. Some leaf lard, which I've rendered down from wild pig. One bag of flour. This small fry pan, which I take on all my camps. A tin cup, which you can cook in. A fire start flint. So this here uh, is quite a good one. I've just bought off a guy, actually traded it for a CD. And I'm gonna show you guys what I reckon is the best tinder in the world for making these things go. You'll be amazed. Uh, we're not taking this cat, but we are taking my belt. And on my belt will be this tucker bag, which hopefully we'll put something in. We can use it for gathering bark or tinder or put our food in. Uh, got a first aid kit in here, just a very basic first aid kit in there. These Japanese pocket saws. This one will do bone. And this one here has got a sort of more of a aggressive tooth. You'll be amazed what you can cut down with that because we are going to be building our own hut. What else? We've got a couple of those. A very small fishing kit. A reel. Some cordage. There's a lure in there and some hooks and sinkers. Probably won't use it but good to take because we're on the coast where we're going. My normal boning knife. My normal stick knife. And this utility knife, made by Shelley, who belongs to the Good Bastards Club, he gifted me this handy wee knife. Right, in the way of stuff for sleeping, two sleeping bags, a couple of thermo rests, and this tent fly, which is basically a tarpaulin, that'll go over our, our hut frame that we're going to build. I'll be wearing my normal Tusker jacket, because it's waterproof and handy as. That's pretty much the extent of our gear. Oh, also, I didn't mention I'll be taking this, hopefully get some nice footage. This is the Good Bastard drone, the Mavic. And uh, we'll be having our day backpacks. another rabbit hole just here and it's got some fresh droppings so I'll put a snare here too the rabbits have made game trail up here Let's see how they come down so I'll put a trap there this track here see that yeah that's where the rabbit's been going it's through there so we're going to put a snare there not there put it there so it's coming downhill what's that pressure there's enough weight to be cotton up that's the theory anyway. I think there's actually something down there now, perhaps. Nice troll. Just it. It's good. Basic loop, just like that. Well, that's all set up. We'll do a few more and then we'll go and build camp, eh? Yep. You getting hungry yet? Mm-hmm. A very nice eating bird, but not legal to kill. But if we are in a situation that you need a meat, and your life depended upon it, you could take the native wood pigeon. Kitty do. Take a bag, oh sweetheart. I think we're going to build our shelter right here. Sweet. No more walking. No more walking. What we're going to do is we're going to clear all that bush above you. We're going to cut some out to let the sunlight in. And uh, yeah, create a shelter. Good. We're not going to cut anything that we don't have to cut. I'm going to give you this. This is going to be your saw. 
This can cut through bone and cut through wood. When you use it, just pull towards yourself. Don't push it there, all right? Be careful. It's a sharp edge, it's a tool. Have you thought about where our fireplace is going to go here? Yeah, we're going to make sure there's no dry roots. Okay. It's going to be somewhere where it can't catch fire to the rest of the remaining scrub around us. It's got a lot of dry stuff around the outside here. Like this. Well, that's our home for the next two days, huh? Sweet home. You like that? It's nice, eh? Cool. What do you reckon about our hut? It's good. I love it. Pretty cool, eh? Yep. I'm feeling the vibes. It's got a nice flat floor, got a roof, got a wall, <laughs> and a fireplace. I'm sitting on it. The only thing we're missing is some food. Yeah, well, I haven't looked at the fire yet, so. Nice day, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this is our home. I would like to go down to the ocean today, but Dad says I'm not allowed. Because it's um, quite a walk. And is no, it yeah, this is not quite a walk, it's just there's cliffs there. Okay, okay. It's bloody okay. steep. I mean, look at the. We're actually <laughs> on cliffs here. Okay. So. And there's lots of blackberry to get there. Yeah, so we're going to stay up here for now. If we don't catch anything, we might go and look for some fish. And. We have half a bag of flour, that's about it, and... Did you take any other food? Sneak anything in your bag? No. You sure? I was going to take some marshmallows, but I ate them before I got here. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is our home. Mmm. Let the adventure begin. Let it begin, well, yeah, priority now we've got shelter is what? Food. Yeah, to find some food. Need food. And these passion fruit vines growing beside us here, are out of season. I think there's no passion fruit on them. Right next to us on this side here we've got kawa kawa growing, that there. You can eat it like that but it's better as a tea. There's food all around here but this time of year it will be very limited. Don't eat like that honey, I'll do it as an actual tea alright? Don't eat like that, no. And don't put anything in your mouth without asking me, okay? There's no berries growing, it's late June, there's no eggs. There could be the odd apple uh, growing wild somewhere. Still on tree if we're lucky, but most birds would have picked that. So really we're reliant on either grubs, hoo hoo grubs. No, we're not gonna eat those. No. It's all pine root here. No. Or we're gonna get hopefully a hare. No, we won't get a hare. <laughs> I did see a hare when we came in, eh? Uh, a possum would be the put most likely. Or a rabbit. Hopefully we get a rabbit. Yeah, a possum's good to eat too. The thing is we've got like now about 13 snares everywhere around the place, we're setting them up with flax. So something's got to happen, eh? Because there's rabbits running around everywhere. There's actually wood pigeon around here too, but we're not allowed to kill it. We're not allowed to kill those, they're protected. Fresh as rabbits on. 
it's just done it. It's still wet and there's its burrow. Great place to put a snare there, Hunter. Amazing, eh? They're on these, these cliffs here, all around here. Right, we'll put two more snares and then we'll go back to camp, yeah? Yeah. The best tinder you'll find, in my experience. bit of bark it's gonna make a good surface to mix your damper on. Yeah, pop some more, honey. The cow cow leaf is shaped like a heart, and it's good for the heart. It makes a great tea. It's got all sorts of good stuff on it. So make a nice cow cow tea there. Leave that with your damper. Oh, try that. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm, it's, not, good. it's not that hot, honey. I know. It's not that hot. It's good, though. That'd be good for your cold, eh? Mmm. That's good. Refreshing, isn't it? The rabbit will come out tomorrow It can never hide away in its burrow Cause we will eat it It will go into a snare And wobble And wiggle And die <laughs> And we'll eat it oh, You're a hard case mate, honestly I've left Hannah back at camp one time I really want to snare a rabbit And I haven't, I've checked all the snares again Still nothing. So, it's a numbers game. I'm going to put more snares out and cover the whole area. This is the last bit of our flour mixed with dirt. I was hoping to have more flour than dirt, but they got stuffed up. Anyway, um, possums like flour. So I'm going to put a snare here. Hopefully he's going to crawl up the log and we'll get him. Right, possum comes up the log, here's where he's going to feed. First bit of flour, hopefully, he's going to sniff us right there to get to this stuff. But there he is, comes along, puts his head down into that, and then carries on through, tightening that up. That's on a slip system, and it's tied to here. Goes through. That's around his neck, he carries on, not worried about it, but as he starts to move around it will tighten up and eventually he struggles and eventually he'll fall down and this can hold his full weight. That's the theory. 
it works, but it's a numbers thing. You've got to have quite a lot of traps to catch one animal. It's nowhere near as successful as using a modern trap, but it does work. Rabbit holes everywhere. This is a great place to have a snare. It's a nice firm hard tree here. Fresh track where rabbit's been going in and out of this hole. And a nice drop down below. So once he's snared, he struggle, fall down, and hang himself. Got enough flax for oh, maybe two more snares. So we'll pop one in here. So basic, loop just a little bit off the ground this time. So his feet goes through, and hopefully that will tighten up around his neck. Struggle, goes down here, hangs himself. Fishing down here for about two hours and uh, lots of small fish just chewing the boat off my hook. So I think I'm going to go for small fish with a very small hook. I just foul hooked this guy and now I've got some bait. Boom! Boom! He wants to go back in the sea, but he ain't going back in the sea, he's going back on my line. So with this here, they're obviously out there, I can catch more of these for a feed. I've got some small trout hooks, some real tiny ones. That's a shag perched up there in that pine tree. They feed off fish. And I guarantee you one thing, that his fishing today would have been a shitload better than mine. He would have caught a load of fish. Those birds can dive, and they're incredibly fast underwater. I hoofed my line out, and I just lost the only sinker I had, so I made up another one with a stone. And uh, that fish, I managed not to lose any of that, so I've got two hooks baited up with a cut in half. You can leave that out overnight, check it first thing early in the morning, Hopefully there's something on it, but I'm not feeling that positive to be honest. Anyway, we'll get it out and get back up the bank. Well, our camp's about five minutes straight up there. I feel a bit stink going back with no fish for Hannah, but I've tried and it's the best I could do. Love you. You sleep well, yeah? Yeah. Morning. Gee, you slept. I'm hungry. Yeah, sorry about that. Can we have some like damper or something? <clears throat> There's no more flour left, sweetheart. We've already had it all. And there was no fish in the line this morning either. We're going to look at traps, eh? Nothing in it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, that's sad. Okay. That's had something come through it because the snare's not there, look, it's down the ground. So it's pulled it down here. It's supposed to go down here, get caught, lock up like that and then fall down here, get stuck. Oh my god, we got one! Did we? Yeah, look! Shit, we did too. Look at it! Oh, it's wicked. Dead. Is it dead? Just feel how, is it warm still? A little bit. A little bit, okay. It's Awesome. Cool. Very cool. Quite fatty too. <laughs> mm. It's a good nick. Yeah. Can you see how it got caught up there? Yeah, it would have been coming down here. 
Well, it couldn't. It, it could only end up being with its feet off the ground, basically. See how it's worked here. Is rigor mortis set in? No. Oh no, it's still still pretty it's soft. Still soft. Yeah. It's a big rabbit. It's in good nick. It's fat as. Yeah, it's still quite warm, eh? It's not that long. Oh, it peed itself. Man. Yeah, well, it probably did. <laughs> dead as. Definitely dead. You know, it's still warm, eh? Mm. Yeah. It's a little bit warm. That's really awesome. Oh! I just pulled it out. What's that? I just pulled some of the fur out. That's okay. It's dead, it's not going to hurt it. <laughs> going to skin it and we're going to eat it. I didn't think we'd get anything, but we did. That was lucky. Well, to be honest, I was starting to wonder too. Look at the back straps on that, man. Get off. Well, I'll take the guts out and then we'll eat it. See that fat there? Mm -hmm. That's come from all the pigs I've caught. <laughs> I basically just rent it down. Yep. That's the kidney fat. One of the kidneys. Mm. It's called leaf lard. Look how white it is. Yeah. Takes ages to get like that. I'm just going to cook this rabbit in small bits. i just yes. chopped it up here. I've chopped it really small. I could just eat the fat on its own. <laughs> <laughs> getting hungry, eh? Oh my gosh. Not getting hungry, I am hungry. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hot, yeah. Oh my gosh. Chewy? So I've boned it out. There's no bones in it. it cooks faster. Yeah, but it's mm. You know, it could have gone either way this trip. We could have also not caught something. That can happen, eh? That's the reality. It's the real reality of going into the bush and relying on catching something. You don't always. Our ancestors had this and sometimes they died. Yeah, we're just lucky. I'm so happy with that answer. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't exist anymore, it just exists in your stomach. It saved me. It didn't save you. You could have gone without food, you could have been, you know, you, you would have been fine, you would have gone home hungry. It wouldn't have killed you. But it's also a good lesson to get a wee bit of hungry and find out. I really enjoyed that. I think Hannah did too. In fact, I know she did. If you've got kids, try doing a bit of camping out. You can even do it in your backyard. I mean, we're just down here at the back of the farm. Maybe set yourself a challenge. You know, say we're going to go out with just two items of food or no items of food. Make it a bit of an adventure. Change things around a bit from the same old, same old. If you enjoyed the clip, smash the like button, please. So I know I'm getting something right for you. 
and subscribe to the channel if you like this sort of stuff. And be good. If you can't be good, be careful. See you later. Three bats, you bad pet. Get out of there. Leave those chickens alone.